Hello you beautiful noodles and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalia if you're new and if you are new on Saturdays, I do sat chat videos. Walk into the room and I feel the stairs. You're wondering if the talent claim is really here. This Saturday I wanted to do a quick video just to recap what this week of being furloughed has been and what I've actually implemented and things that I want to change. First, I did get lost in what the days were. Even though I've been trying to make sure that I journal every day and check my planner every day, I had about two days in a row where I just didn't look at what I was supposed to be doing and then I didn't actually check anything off of my to-do list. I realized that when my to-do list starts to get a little piled up and I noticed that there are a lot of things that I have to do, sometimes I just kind of freeze and don't do anything, which I know is such a terrible thing to do or not do however you look at it but I realized that I was getting overwhelmed because if one day's to-do list wasn't checked off I wasn't giving myself space to add in other things on the next day's to-do list so what I'm gonna do this week is what a lot of people at bullet journal do and I don't know why I should do it any different but I won't make my to-do list for the next day until the beginning of that day what I'll do instead is just have my top five that I showed you guys I'll write out my top five and then I will do my actual to-do list in the morning so I can pace out my day just in case there's something from the day before that I didn't get done I can just bring it over into the next day and not feel bad about it another thing about this week was when I didn't finish something I got so down on myself and I know that in a regular nine to five job or even when you're doing your entrepreneurship if you don't finish something and you have to do lists and you have things that have to be done there are repercussions so I think that this week what I'm going to try to do is find that middle ground where I understand that there are repercussions and actually set some repercussions for myself so say I don't finish my to-do list for Monday on Tuesday I won't be able to have as much leisure time because I need to catch up and finish the things that I didn't finish Monday all the while still giving myself some leisure time so I won't just say we're gonna work straight through the day you're not doing anything fun today no 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna do that but what I'm going to do is just cut it down so that I recognize that you know I still have to get things done another thing that I noticed this week was that I was letting my space get so messy usually I'm not at home as much so just living in where I'm working and where I'm having leisure time and everything it was all starting to mesh together so this week what I plan on doing is to make sure that at least at the end of the day I clean up my space as much as I can just put things back where they go after I'm done using them I know this is such a simple thing but I was really starting to neglect that especially around Thursday Friday where I was just shoving things to the side so I could I don't know work on my desk and do other stuff like make these nails I was just moving everything out of the way to put another thing in that place and not putting anything back where it goes so this week I'm definitely going to work on that and the last little thing that I noticed was that I was not being realistic with the list that I was making to have done throughout the week I was definitely in the mindset of we have 12 hours you feel so like let's do 12 things uh, not necessarily one thing an hour but I was not allowing myself the time that I normally needed to finish something for some reason in my mind I was like oh you'll have all this time to do all these things because you don't have to worry about doing work and that's not true um, I was definitely trying to shove everything in that I would normally do after work into my work time but I wasn't accounting for the fact that when I leave work I do other things so it was making the day run so long I just didn't have any in-between time for anything I was if I don't finish this at this time then I have to stop doing it to go into this thing or if I run over just a little bit then that messes up everything and it's just this whole idea of having a schedule that is so unchangeable and so rock solid is something that we need but it's definitely something that you should build in time and build in space for if something does run over you have time to finish what you were working on but I also have to remember to put things away to go do other things it's just trying to find this balance is what I'm gonna work on this week to figure out 
when I should stop doing one thing and start another and when I should continue on finishing something before I start another thing. So those are the things that I'm gonna work on this week and I know you're probably wondering well why doesn't matter if she tells us what she's gonna work on this week because this is the week that I finally start vlogging. So this video comes out on Saturday so starting tomorrow Sunday I will be vlogging my week so you all can see what my week looks like and what I'm actually doing on a day-to-day -day now that I'm stuck in the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to show you what this week will look like make sure that I implement these new things and you know if I don't implement these new things then we will sit down and we will chat and we will talk about it I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video be sure to like it and if you loved it be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos I am here for you every Monday Wednesday Saturday and like I just said sometimes I vlog <laughs> I cannot wait to see you all in my next video bye Yeah,